So we're going to take a look at so many different MongoDB commands today. The very first thing we are going to see is projection, projecting fields from a query. Say in relational databases, we used to do this, right? Select name address from employee. So it will project only the name and address columns. Here what we are going to do is whenever we write a query, what happens is the entire data is getting projected. Name, address, phone, salary. So we want to project only certain fields from the uh, answers that are getting returned. So how to project that? By default, you see MongoDB returns all the fields in a document. If you want to project certain fields, you can uh, project a field by including a one after that field. For instance, if I want to project the salary column alone, I will just do salary and then I will give one. That means display me the salary column. If I want to suppress the ID column, how will I give? If I want to suppress, I will give ID column 0. 0 means suppressing a field and 1 means displaying the field in the output. We will take up some exercises, you will be able to understand this. Uh, so, we will uh, go to MongoDB and uh, this is where my database is. I will just increase the font size so that it is visible to all of us. That should be that. Okay. So, I am going to use this uh, BITDB. So, this database I am going to use. And we have uh, this collection. Uh, employee, which I am going to use for all my demos now for certain exercises. So, it is db.employee.find. So, we are going to have all these uh, records in our uh, collection. Let's make this more pretty like uh, db.employee.find.pretty. So, what all fields I am having here is I am having a lot of fields here name, salary, address, and school for an employee. Like that, I have many employee documents. So, in this case, I have taken this exercise display the details of the employee by name Mohan. How can you write a query for this? You want to display the details of the employee by name Mohan. So, we have Mohan here. You want to display the details. It is very simple, right? db.employee.find and then you are going to give the condition name as Mohan. So, you see by default it returns all the fields. If you want to project only the address and uh, <coughs> salary for Mohan. If you want to project only the address and salary for Mohan, what you are going to do is, you are just going to say db.employee.find. The search criteria is name is Mohan. So, this is the search criteria. Now, we have to talk about the projection criteria. Open a parenthesis and then you want to display only uh, salary and address. So, you just do salary and then you give one. So, you project it and then address. Then you project close the parenthesis. So, now when you take a look at the output, you can see you have the object ID getting displayed. We have salary and address of Mohan being displayed here. So, you can limit the number of these getting returned from your query. Suppose I want to suppress the ID field. I do not want the ID to be displayed here. How can I go with that? It is very simple. Uh, just in this projection, you give underscore id colon 0. So, let me uh, reduce the font size a little. Let me clear this. So, if I want to suppress the id, what I am going to give? Underscore id colon 0. So, you can include a field by saying colon 1 and you can exclude a field by saying colon 0. Okay. So, I have seen all these things now. Suppose there is one more thing. I want to display name and address of all employees. Only the name and address of all employees. How to do that? Earlier we have seen how to display the name and address of Mohan or salary and address of Mohan. I want to display the name and address of all employees. How can I go with that? So, let me go and write that query here. db.employee.find. Say for the search criteria, there is nothing. No, it is for all employees. So, you just give it a blank. And then for the projection criteria, say I want salary and address. So, I will give salary. 1 address 1. If I want to suppress the ID field, ID column 0. That's it. 
So this displays salary and address of all the employees. For some employees, we don't have the salary column. That's fine. Can we go to the next set of commands? Update commands, very interesting commands. Uh, we'll frequently use this in the databases. So why do you use update? You want to update a certain document, we go with update. So while you're updating, there are three important things that we'll do. First, we'll filter. So I want to update a certain document. Say update document for wrong. So we are filtering it. Next thing is while you're updating, you will set certain values. You go to this record wrong and set certain parameters for them or modify certain parameters for them. Options, this we will see after you know learning these two things. So this is like the merge command we had in Neocore here, right? If that particular document is not available for updating, it will go and insert a new document. So here when you talk about options, we are going to talk about this absurd option. Absurd, when it is set to true, what it will do is, if that particular document is not found, there is no record for ROM and you are trying to update it, it, it if you set absurd to be true, it will go and insert a new document. So that is similarly like merge, you know, that what we have learned in Neo4j. Mm -hmm. So we will go and try and update certain uh, records. So we have update one, which will update the very first record matching our criteria. Update many will update all the records matching our filtering criteria. Replace one is another interesting thing. What it will do is it will go and replace the entire document with this document you are applying. Say you have a document with ID 1. So this is the document with ID 1 and you have name to be Sam and uh, some data and you are replacing that. What it will do is it will replace the entire content for the document except the ID. The ID will be retained but the, all the other things will be replaced. So we will go and take some exercises directly. So what is the syntax here? First we have to give the filter, whatever, say name, address, salary, whatever you are going to filter by. And then when you say update, we are going to use dollar set. So this will be used for setting the value for the field to a new value. So we will see that update address of employee Mohan from Delhi to Goha. So what is this uh, Mohan, where is he? db.employee.find, we will find the data for Mohan here. So, what is this address? Address is right now daily. I want to update for uh, this particular person to go on. So, how can I update that? So, db.employee.update1 and what we are going to update is for this guy Mohan and uh, we are going to set this set is used for setting the new value. What we are going to set address to be uh, daily. It's Goa, right? So, yeah. So now it has modified. Let's go and take a look at this db dot employee dot uh, uh, find, and then let's find it for Mohan whether the update has really happened. Yeah. Now his address has been changed to Goa. So this update happens for only the first ma matching record in the name of Mr. Mohan. If you have 10 records in the name of Mohan and you want to match and update all these records, what is that you are going to use? You are going to use update many. So, we will just go and see db.employee.find, are, are there any uh, records with that criteria? For instance, we have two records matching Satish and we will set the address for all these records as Goa here. So, how to do that? We have to go with this dp dot employee dot update many we have to use and then we have to give the filter as Satish here. Okay. Next, what we are going to do? We are going to set so dollar set and then what we are going to set address we will move it to Goa for all these guys. So, so it says modified count is two now. It has updated all the records matching our filtering criteria. So when you go and do a db dot employee dot find. And we just focus on this record Satish. We are going to see for both these uh, uh, you know, records, the address has been set to Goa now. Okay, that is the use of update many. Say you want to update all the address fields to Goa. No such criteria there. Then how can you go and set all the address fields to Goa? db.employee.update many. I should use the right function. And there is no such criteria here. And what we are going to set? Dollar set and uh, 
address we are going to change it to go wire so it matches all the records whichever that is not having uh, you know address to be goa and it modifies that okay so you can go and verify that very well employee dot find and uh, you can see all the address has been changed to goa in our records okay is it clear with update one and update many the next thing is replace an existing document i want to replace an existing document for instance let's take a document by name rahul here address goa i want to replace this document with some other new document but the object id should be the same then i have to go with replace one so what replace one will do is it will find the record that matches the first record and then it will replace that entire document so how will you replace that this db dot employee dot replace one and then first we have to give the filtering criteria that is name is rahul and then comma we have to go and now replace we are not going to do a dollar set just replace so i'll just give name to be replaced something like that and i'll have address to be test address something like this so i am trying to replace this entire document by name rahul with name replaced so it has modified it now if i go and the search db.employee.find you can see this particular document for rahul has been replaced with name replaced address test but the object id will be retained the object id will not be a new id so that is the use of replace suppose you want to replace a document with another document except the object id to go with replaced one okay so is that clear update a very interesting uh, thing another thing that we have to look at is the upset option the third parameter options we are right what is that see it works this upset option works for all these methods update one update many replace one so it's the third parameter when i have upset like upset true it will first match for the record if the match is not found it will insert that record as a, a new record If a match is found, then it will update that record. So now we let's go and try and update. Say there is, uh, uh, we'll talk about a user by name David. There is no David in my table. Let me go and update a record for David. So db dot uh, employee dot. Uh, we'll say update one. And uh, what I'm trying to search is a person by name David. This guy is not there in my table actually. So, and what I'm trying to set here is dollar set. address for him is say us and here comes the next thing here we have to give the third option that is absurd is true so what i'm telling the uh, database you know if you don't find this insert it as a new record so obviously there is no person called david in my list of records so what it should do is it should go and insert okay so let's go and do a db.employee.find now so you see here david address us has been inserted so when i set upset as true if the match is not found a new record gets inserted this one works for all these three methods update one update many and replace one is it clear The next concept is how to insert null values in your documents and how to query for fields that have null values in your documents. So how will you insert null values? Say, let me go and uh, find this again. So let me insert another uh, document wherein address is null. So can you go and insert that? Db dot employee dot uh, insert. We'll go with this. We'll go with the name. Test name will give, and then address. I just want to have it as null, so I just give null here. Don't give it in quotes. If you give it in quotes, it will become a character. Okay. So you have an employee whose name is test. His uh, his address is null. The value is absent for this particular employee. Suppose I want to find all the employees whose address is null. How to find that? So it's db dot employee dot find 
and then you just give address all and null. Okay. So it's bringing you that particular employee for whom the address column was null. Address field was null. There is one more way to uh, query this uh, null characters. For instance, uh, the dollar type, the type for null is 10. So I can also do this db.employee.find. So I'll have address and then I'll go with dollar type. We have used dollar type in a last class, right? We fetched all the uh, elements of type string. Like that, all the elements of type null, we have to use 10 here. 10 represents null. So So you can also query using dollar type 10 or else you can query using null. We have seen these two exercises. Insert an employee whose address is null. Display all employees whose address is null. We also use dollar type. Okay.